Every once in a while, our industry experiences an innovation that advances medicine. This is one of those dynamic times. Presenting Laser Seal, a breakthrough in laser resurfacing. Laser Seal is an occlusive silicone dressing that offers CO2 laser results with erbium laser recovery. Superior to tape dressing, Laser Seal offers a beneficial alternative for laser recovery. The idea of the laser seal was born because we were all frustrated with the uh, tapes that were available at the time. It did not look right. The patients were uncomfortable. Uh, uh, overall, it was a very, very cumbersome process. After completing the laser resurfacing of the face, any residual epidermal debris is removed. A lubricant, such as Surgilube or Vaseline, is then applied over the eyebrows and along the hairline to protect those areas from becoming incorporated into the silicone dressing. The application process is extremely simple. The silicone is applied to the face through a special applicator gun, a medical grade silicone and a catalyst, each in a separate cylindrical container, are attached to the applicator, which features a single delivery tube. The catalyst activates the silicone as it is applied to the face after laser treatment. Laser seal is evenly distributed across the face using a spatula or a gloved finger covered with surgilube. The gel-like silicone admixture adheres to the face, solidifying into a flexible membrane within 5 to 20 minutes after application. This allows adequate time for molding of the dressing within a workable cure time. It feels like a Halloween mask. I mean, you know there's something there and you know you're restricted somewhat in your movements. I remember buying a little baby toothbrush because you can't open your mouth up very wide to brush your teeth um, and eating a lot of soup because this is the first place it starts to come loose and they don't want it to. But it's just, it's, it's having, it's like having a Halloween mask on. It doesn't hurt, it doesn't restrict you from, you know, doing much of anything, but it is something that's there. After we apply the laser seal on the face, we keep it on for four days in general. Sometimes laser seal is removed in just two or three days. The first two days following surgery are the most important as the cells are migrating and the area is beginning to heal. We generally prescribe ciprofloxacin to reduce the potential for pseudomonas infection. They recommend five days. Five days is the longest they want you to have it on, but if you can keep it on minimally three days, if you can get through three days, they'll take it off if you have to have it taken off for any reason. But um, I kept it on the entire five days. There are three distinct benefits to the laser seal. Number one, and perhaps the most important one, is that it takes the pain away completely or uh, almost completely. And the reason is uh, it creates the moist, moist closed environment so, so that the nerve ends are no longer being irritated. Number two, because of that moist environment, it enhances the healing process. In fact, it has been shown scientifically that when we apply a type of occlusive dressing after laser treatment, the healing process is cut to half. Laser seal also reduces inflammation and redness in the process of healing. Prior to the development of laser seal, it took three months or longer for redness to disappear. When laser seal is applied, it reduces that period to three to six weeks at the maximum, which is a great advantage to patients who gain the freedom to live their lives normally without heavy makeup to cover the redness. Even during that period of uh, three to six weeks, the intensity of redness is significantly less than what it used to be. People say, you look like you have a sunburn. That's all. But didn't hurt. The semi-transparent silicone mask allows close monitoring of the skin for signs of infection or complications in the days following surgery. 
Around the mouth, laser seal may separate from the skin as a result of talking or eating, requiring reapplication. Laser seal can also be applied to segmental areas that have been resurfaced with laser or dermabraded, the lower eyelids or around the mouth, for example. We did a study and compared the two products, the tapes that we used to use, and the silicone, and we found that uh, uh, an overwhelming majority of the patients like the silicone better. In fact, I know of one study that a dermatologist used silicone for one half of the face and uh, ointment on the other half of the face. There was no comparison in terms of the discomfort, in terms of redness and uh, recovery. Uh, the patients uh, invariably liked laser seal. There was no pain involved in this whole procedure, none whatsoever. Call Laser Seal for more information on this exciting, innovative breakthrough in laser resurfacing.